Now that we have created a couple of questions, we need to put them into a quiz. Go to your course page and find the quiz you would like to add your questions to. As described before, you can add questions from this end too. However, we will be adding questions from the question bank. Click on Show next to Question Bank Contents. Because the category we created is under the default category, the questions are already displaying. However, if you have 10 categories, each one with 20 questions, this list can get awfully long. So, we will select the category you would like to view from the drop-down menu. This will narrow it down to only the questions in that category. Tick the questions you would like to add to your quiz and click the Add to Quiz button. You are shown the total of grades. You may want to change the maximum grade of the quiz to match this. You can change the order of the questions by using the arrows to the right of them or remove questions you accidentally added using the delete icon. This will not delete the questions from the question bank, just from the quiz. The order and paging tab gives you further control over how your questions are displayed. This can be very useful if you have many pages and many questions in your quiz. Your quiz is now ready to go. You can view the results of your quiz by visiting your quiz in the course. Under the navigation block where your quiz is listed, there is a results menu. Opening this menu gives you access to the grades, responses, statistics and manual grading for essay style questions. Because no students have taken the quiz yet, there is nothing to display. If we return to the quiz in the navigation menu, you will see that we can also preview the quiz to see what a student sees. There are some subtle differences between a teacher looking at a quiz and a student. A teacher can take the quiz and get a results page, but the results are not actually recorded in the gradebook. When we preview the quiz, if there is a time limit or there is a limited number of attempts, you are warned about this. Neither the time limit nor the number of attempts applies to the teacher. You can see how the questions look for the students. The true-false question shows the possible answers. To the left, we see the grade for that question. Students can flag a question, for example, one that they are stuck on that they want to come back to later, before finishing the quiz. It can help them find it again. If they click Next, they are taken to a summary of their attempt. They can see if they have answered every question. If they have left questions unanswered or flagged, they can return to them to answer them by clicking on the number or the flag.